What's up, everybody? This is Zach with the Nerd Cave Network. I am joined along with Derek and Robbie. We're bringing you a special Nerd Cave Reacts. We have just watched Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Literally just walked out of the theater. <laughs> yes. Um, it was it was something else. It was amazing. Now, I think we should preface this whole video by saying this is going to be a spoiler-free discussion. Yes. So uh, no no spoilers will be found yeah, we, in this video. I do not. I, I told Robbie this. We were joking. Do you want to ruin someone's night? Because there was a line of people. Uh, I thought the same thing when I left. For the 1045 too. movie. But, Going through that movie, I would never want to take that away from somebody. No, absolutely not. So You don't want to be Homer. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. So I'm not going to go first. I'll let one of y'all go first. Okay. Um, well, I will, I'll just give my overall thoughts of it. It was a roller coaster ride. Mm -hmm. Yes. There were some very high points. There were some very low points. Uh, but overall, I absolutely loved it. It was worth the wait to me and more. I, I would do the same thing all over again. If I didn't have to work tomorrow, whenever we finish this video, I would go back to the theater and watch it again. Oh, yeah. 100%. It was it was that good. Like, I'm counting down to when I go Monday. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't wait. Yeah, I might go tomorrow. I don't know. Well, I have to watch a kid but anyway my thoughts was i loved it uh, i thought it was great through i mean even the low points you were talking about i mean it just impacted you so much i definitely got that jj J. abrams star trek feel and points of the movie which i mean it it worked i didn't i didn't not like it i mean mm -hmm. everything flowed very well the characters i love the characters all the way from BB-8 was a surprise to me. Mm -hmm. Surprised I liked him as much as I did because, like you said earlier, it's kind of throwing in the, hey, this is the new R2. R2. Yeah. But I found myself like really digging BB-8 and all the, even though you can't understand him, just like the R2 unit, mm -hmm. it has that humor. Yeah, exactly. So I, I liked it. Yeah, it's that body humor and everything. And that, going off of the humor thing, I think this is the first star wars that i've laughed that much mm -hmm. yeah it was much more humor than i thought there would be yeah and it wasn't to the point where it took away from the seriousness of the story and i think that that was a really really awesome thing that jj and the writers and everything did a good job and that i know from the marvel movies has been a really good point of their franchise is the humor and seeing that in the star wars universe there was always those little quips here and there right but there was more this time um there was a watching the movie I, i'll just go through this not all of it i'm not gonna spoil that for y'all sitting there at the beginning i was like okay well this is star wars or what Star Wars is now. That's what I was thinking. And I was like, okay. And I, I didn't feel as excited as I would thought I would at the beginning. And then when you see a certain starfighter pilot come back on the scene and he's just swooping in and out, it just, <laughs> I'm going to probably cry <laughs> here because I cried all through the movie. But you see him swooping in and out, and just like this pure joy just like came on me. I was you feel like, like a kid again. Yeah, and it was like playing Battlefront and everything. <laughs> and I was, it, I was just kind of taken aback, and I was just sitting there. I was like, why am I crying over freaking Star Wars? So, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's a big part of, you know, your childhood, our childhood. Oh, and, yeah. and leaving the theater, and I, I, I will say... And I'm not going to give away any details, but I called uh, I called my uncle because he saw it in pace, and I asked him what he thought of it because he was a kid when the originals yeah. came out. He said that he had that exact same feeling leaving this movie that he did all of the old ones, and I was like, "Wow, that that for someone who grew up with the original Star Wars and to I'd them saying they say have that. that same feeling that." says a lot and I did want to uh, a point you made about the how it looked and how it was made 
visually best Star Wars movie ever made. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I will say that, and I, I don't think there is any comparison. It felt a little different mm-hmm. than all of the Star Wars movies, but and that's where you get into the the tricky side, like having a little. Well, bit you of get that into aspect. JJ's style, style yeah. but he's also more of a contemporary filmmaker, mm-hmm. and I think that really showed. And I think that was actually good for you know what this Bringing new trilogy needs. Of- to be different. I mean, yeah, it needs to all fit in, but it needs to be its own separate thing as well. Mm -hmm. And I I think there were some, some points in time where it was just a little out of focus on like the thing that you're supposed to be looking at, which I thought that was interesting, but the movie overall, they, I love that they went back to, actual physical things Mm -hmm. it isn't all green screen that bb8 it felt real yes it did and that is that's the thing that they needed to do that's what the prequels didn't have no and having that now it felt so much more visceral and i something that i really liked were like and you see in the older ones and even you know the one two and three the aliens just were like and this one, like the aliens looked mm-hmm. like you could definitely see them like yeah. in day to day life. And also, gosh, it feels so good to be right. I'm not going into it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Well, technically, didn't hand it to Rhea or whatever her stupid but name is. But it did hand it. She was the one handling the lights here because y'all said it, that was human. Y'all were wrong. Whatever. Well, we also retracted that and said, because we, we went back and looked. And we're but like, oh. uh, it was nice. And there was also the other thing that we're not going to get into that I was right about. Because I called that when we did a, a reaction on the, on the trailer. I'm, I'm not sure. To uh, be completely honest. We'll talk about it off camera. Yeah. But um, what was the thing that most stuck out to y'all? What was the one thing that you could take away, not spoilery, that you can take away and say tomorrow when you go to work, this is why you need to watch this movie. And this is why Star Wars is freaking king. Well, this might sound like kind of a cop-out answer, but I truly think it's just the whole experience. It felt like an old-school Star Wars movie, but more contemporary that modern audiences would love. Because, you know, I, I've talked with people who have now, like, some of the people that I went with, that was their first ever Star Wars movie. And they absolutely loved it. Well, I'm and glad they loved it, but they're freaking idiots. Well, you better watch yourself there, bud. Why? Hadn't Amy not seen them? No. Oh, she's Amy's seen watched them? all of them. Okay. I thought she hadn't. <laughs> No, she would have been educated. <laughs> but um, my biggest thing is the person, the people who have not seen any Star Wars, can go into this one and come out loving it and be and wanting to immerse themselves in the world of Star Wars. That's what I liked because, like you said, it's it's filmed in that contemporary style, which is what JJ is amazing at, and it was able to capture everything that we loved and what than everybody else loves that modern action. movie girls yes. goers because you have you have the the fight scenes the epic space battle you have the romance between Han and Leia coming back like you see that starting to to come back and then you know you have the other characters and all that stuff so you're able to see a lot of of chemistry coming together and I think the average Joe would love this movie um, I'm not going to uh, go towards the people that haven't seen it. If you're a Star Wars fan, this is... If you're an, as emotional person as I am, apparently, if a grown, if they can make a grown man cry more than he is not crying during this movie, then that says something. And, and you both can be a testament to this. I read, and you would read as well, Read Star Wars all the time. I've been super immersed in Star Wars for a very long time. Over 200 books or so. Yeah. And for this to come out as fresh as it did and to even bring some of the expanded universe into the, the, the movie, I love that. that. You know, it wasn't 
everything's gone. They took little bits and pieces and made you feel, okay, well, this feels like home, but this is something new and fresh. And that was, that was so nice to go in and see that and experience it. And I can look back on this night and tell my kids whenever I have kids that, yes, I was in the movie theater and watched The Force Awakens the night it came out. And you can watch our reacts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Opening night for Star Wars. Cross it off the bucket list. Yep. yep. So I any mean, uh, any closing thoughts? I just, you know, I've seen... We Fire saw, and I've seen rain. <laughs> <laughs> well, we saw episode three in Don't Die. That's what you get for making fun of people. But, uh, you know, definitely all the, the Star Wars that I saw in theaters had... N- not near the mm-hmm. effect that this one had on. Yeah, me. I didn't go. I didn't get um, as emotional as my friend here, but it definitely does tug on the heartstrings. Like, yeah, it tugs on all emotions. Oh yeah, like you're happy one moment, you're sad the next, and I mean it's just suspense, exhilarating. You know. mm-hmm. So I mean, definitely go out and watch this if you haven't. Um, guys, I think that about wraps it up for me. What about you guys? That's it for me. Okay. Well, all I can say is go see Star Wars. Definitely. Yeah, guys, let us know what you think about in the comments. Think about the movie in the comments below. Don't spoil anything. We want to make sure that everyone gets a chance to experience this. Give but, it a couple weeks to breathe. Yeah, but if you want more in depth discussion, definitely in the comments below. We want to interact with you, see what your thoughts are on the movie because we our top five Star Wars movies is now out of date. Yes, we've so, got to, we got to work <laughs> probably on Probably going to have to fix that. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Go out and watch Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Go support this movie. Let's get it to $2 billion. Break the record. Yes. I think, what, what did I say? I have it at $1.5 billion in the first weekend? No. Okay, I have it $2 billion first weekend. <laughs> I've got faith. If i got to put it on my back and carry it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, you can find um, find us at Nerd Cave Network. We're all over Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, a lot of different social medias. Just search Nerd Cave Network. Uh, Derek, we have a pretty cool website. Tell us about it. We do. It's at nerdcavenetwork.com. You can find links to YouTube videos such as this, news articles, our podcast. We have a podcast every Tuesday where we discuss nerd and pop culture type things, and that is available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio and coming to SoundCloud and Google Play in 2016. Well, also, guys, we have a end-of-the-year show coming up in, what, 10 days? December 27th. It's on a Sunday. Yeah, Yeah, 10 days. At 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yeah, guys, make sure you check it out. We're going to be giving out the best game of the year from all three of us, best movie, which one of the Our our opinions of them. Well, it's our show. We can give out I, any well, award I'm just we saying want. It's not like the official. It's officially the Nerd Cave Podcast Game of the Year. Exactly. Exactly. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our stuff. This has been Zach, Derek, and Robbie. May the force be with you. <laughs>